There's now a new playlist where we'll be making different clothes using Divine Cut and exploring different features of the add-on. New Generators Divine Cut 4.0 comes with a bunch of new generators. You can now generate tops, that includes dresses and gowns, crop tops, vests, trousers, skirts, jumpsuit, camisole, open shirt, button shirt, blazer, puffer jacket, varsity jacket, and a kimono. The clothes in 4.0 now appear with icons as opposed to list view in the previous versions. Simply set your garment of choice, select your character and press new cloth. Position the points, position the circles and sculpt any little adjustments if needed. Pinching and cloth interaction. With Divine Cut, you can now animate interactions with cloth using pinchers. This could either be a character interacting with a cloth or you could animate points of a cloth freely. Simply select the vertex or vertices you want to control on the assigned Divine Cut. Add and scale a primitive object such as a cube or anything to that part of the body you want the point to snap to. Then press create new pin. Now with these sliders you can control the pinning and snapping of that point of the cloth to the pin. If you don't want the pincher attached to the character, simply unbind the surface modifier. Layer Collision System Blender doesn't natively have a collision matrix for physics. This makes it difficult to layer clothes comfortably. The usual way one would do this is to bake one cloth at a time and enable collision one after the other. Divine Cut now comes with a collision system that lets you sort clothes in layers. If you want to stack clothes on top of each other, simply set their layers with the lowermost cloth being on cloth layer 0 and the uppermost cloth set to cloth layer 3 or an accessory layer. The base layer is for objects such as the character or environmental collision objects. New Color Algorithm The old color used to be generated as a separate object. Now the color is part of the cloth and behaves naturally. It runs 100% faster than the old color and you don't have to bake it separately. The option to use the old color algorithm is still available. Interactive Mode This feature is experimental and it's my first attempt to allow us to interact with cloth and shape cloth using a style similar to that in Marvelous Designer. Interactive Mode lets you pinch and manipulate your cloth from a point in real time. To use this feature, enable Interactive Mode. Place the 3D cursor on the point you want to drag. Press Play and press G to move that point. Stop playback to save and apply the cloth shape and repeat. This is quite useful for garments that need to wrap around the character or might be complex to sculpt and edit. You can also pin the last point in the air if you want to keep it there so you can procedurally shape the entire cloth. It's non-destructive and comes with a function to restore the original cloth if it comes out. But note that this feature is experimental so you might encounter some glitches at this time. Adjust body. When you add shoes to a character, common practice is to sculpt the shoe to fit the foot. But in some instances, the foot needs to be sculpted to fit the shoe. For instance, boots with this gap here and high heels. The adjust body function is a quick, simple, non-destructive approach that generates a shape key on your character and pulls you into sculpt mode so you can fit the foot into the shoe. Generate shoe collider. Shoes sometimes come with complex geometry. Too much geometry to simply click enable collision. The shoe collider function creates a low poly collider for your shoe so that the clothes don't fall into the shoes or collide with them erratically. Use this function, duplicate the shoe, cover the mouth of the shoe with any geometry, a new face or even a new object, and then press generate shoe collider. Generate high res duplicates. When creating clothes, there's a limited amount of detail and shapes that the cloth can have. All topology flow contributes to the cloth behavior. Sometimes this limits the style of clothing we can create. Generate high res duplicate is a feature that's meant to help with that, so you can have the cloth mesh that handles the simulation separate from the high res mesh which you can edit freely, add holes, extrusions, etc. without worrying about how the simulation will behave. After creating cloth, you can now click create high res duplicate. This will turn the original cloth into a simulation cage that will handle the cloth simulation. The high res duplicate can then take as much complex geometry or editing as you like without affecting the simulation, as long as its overall shape is close to or up against the simulation cloth. Simulate belts. By default, belts are bound directly to the divine cloth. The simulate belt function creates physics for the belt with an adjustable level of tightness. Edit mode comes with fold faces, flip faces and fixed mirror. Fold faces duplicates the selected faces, thickens them and then binds them to the cloth. Flip faces flips the faces of the mesh. This is for rare cases where the trousers or jacket might be inverted. Fix mirror. This feature is part of Divine Print. It applies the mirror modifier and re-unwraps the mesh. Useful for cases where you want to spray an image or apply a texture but the spray unintentionally mirrors to the other side. Quality of life improvements. Garment icons. 
Generatable garments now appear as a grid of icons as opposed to the text list in the previous versions of Divine Cut. There are new satisfying sound effects when using Divine Cut. Sounds are much calmer and no longer overwhelming. There's now a faster way to position the points on your character when generating clothes. Instead of selecting each point and positioning them, simply place the 3D cursor at the point on your character as directed on the end panel. The neck, chin, shoulders, elbow, wrist, nipple and pelvis. Divine Court now remembers where you position the points for a session, so if you generate a top and try to generate another one, you won't need to position the points a second time. Closing Blender or opening another file but gets these positions. The bicep circle is used to determine the length of a sleeve. Before it could not be rotated before generating the cloth, but now you can. After generating new clothes, Divine Cut automatically brings you into sculpt mode so you can make any little modifications if needed. It also equips the elastic grab brush, which is, to me, the best brush in the library. Sculpt mode no longer rips clothes by default. Before you had to be careful sculpting the middle because it could rip the cloth apart. In the past, Divine Cut would begin to play the timeline immediately after generating clothes. This has been disabled by default, but it can be re-enabled in preferences. Default cloth quality has been increased from 10 to 20. Clothes now generate with basic materials. Divine Cut automatically sorts generated clothes on collision layers. So if you make trousers, and a top, and a shirt, and a blazer, Divine Cut automatically sorts which should go on top of which, so you often don't need to worry about collision layers. Divine Print no longer sprays on the back of clothes. Before, you would have to spray, and then wipe the spray from the back faces. It now behaves normally, and sprays in front. You can enable X-Ray if you would like it to spray the back as well. Materialize now converts the spray to a material with the original color. Previous versions would just convert this to a white spray. Emission effects now work, along with others such as Bump, Alpha, Metallic, etc. Custom color option now works with Materialize. The user interface has been cleaned up a bit more. Divine Physics and Divine Presets have been removed. The announcement sound for the color when generating shirts has been removed. Top generation has gotten a nice improvement, all generators are about 30% faster. You can now mirror accessories by pressing the mirror button. New assets include new jean and plaid or tartan material, new scarf accessory, new boots pack, two new earring packs, and a new bag pack. Make Divine converts other meshes including external clothes to Divine cloth. They have access to some Divine features such as inflation, pinning, pressure, and the rest. Convert to Keys lets you convert your cloth simulation to shape keys so you can edit the simulation and also lets you send the simulation to engines such as Unity and Unreal. Alright, that's been it. The Discord channel is open. You can hop in if you have any questions at all. It's very, very active. I'm always there. Um, but yeah, have fun.